We will not sit idly by while terrorists try to undermine our way of life. The attack on Nominus Prime will not go unpunished. We can't wage war against thin air, Senator Decimus. We still don't know who's behind the attack. Our head of security is weeding out the culprits. In the meantime, we protect the populace by clamping down. Sorry to disturb you, Sentinel, but we have a perimeter breach. Someone wanted to address the Senate and wouldn't take no for an answer. Arrest him and be done with it. I'm trying to watch Senator Proteus make a speech that'll change everything. We'll restrict passage across our orbital borders. We'll round up the agitators and the dissidents. We'll detain anyone without a valid serial code. Curfews, containments, capital punishment. Whatever it takes. Sir, I've been told that our visitor has just taken apart a full squadron, and he's heading this way. Scramble all units. Put him down. Now! Senator Proteus is right. And if the clampdown means that the general populace must forego some of their freedoms, well, it is but a small price to pay for their safety. And remember, we also have an opportunity to shut down those organizations who have been hostile towards us in the past. Triple M, the Cyber Utopians, the Malware Brigade. They should all be locked up. What now? Sir, I'm afraid that... That he's dead? Tell me he's dead. He is not dead. He's... He's here. Esteemed members of the 113th Cybertronian Senate. Honorable descendants of the progenitors and custodians of the sacred primal lineage. I want a word with you. Everyone, hold your fire. I want to see how this pans out. You dare interrupt the Senate in private session? Evidently. This is Whirl. He broke the law. Associates of yours wanted me to overlook that fact. I didn't, and two good officers died as a result. I want you to look at him and realize that even the smallest actions have consequences. You sit in session, detached from the real world, giving orders designed to keep the rest of us in check. And if anyone steps out of line, if anyone thinks a rogue thought, you tighten the screws. And I didn't even realize this until I met a miner from Tarn. A friend who had so much to say that he couldn't find the words. A miner by design, but not by choice. He wanted the freedom to choose his own fate, not have it decided for him by a ruling elite who presumed to know best. And only now do I recognize the limits that you put on our freedom. And you do it because you are terrified of anything you can't control. They have a name for us, you know. Other races looking down, mapping our progress. They call us Autobots. I've often wondered about that name. And now I realize the auto comes from Automaton. One who leads a routine, monotonous life. And that's all we are to you, isn't it? Automatons. Our lives ever more circumscribed from birth to death. Ignition to burnout. It doesn't have to be like this. All of us, we could be so much more. Autobots, autonomous, free thinking, masters of our own destiny. So, as of today, as of right now, I am laying claim to that name. Henceforth, I am an Autobot. And it is Autobots like me who will outlive institutions like this one, unless you change your ways. Sensible. Remove him. My friend's name was Megatron, and he had three questions. Three things he said you should demand to know of any powerful institution. Question one, in whose interest do you exercise your power? Question two, to whom are you? Just let me finish. You've said enough. Come along. To whom are you accountable? And three, and three. How can we get rid of you? I don't catch his name. It doesn't matter. You won't be seeing him again. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. It's the least I could do. I gather I owe you my freedom. It wasn't easy. But I couldn't see a Cybertronian of your caliber get locked up in Garrus 1. Or worse, sent to the Institute. You're a senator, aren't you? You're in the crowd and I... 
on fourth. Why did you save me after my diatribe? Because you were right. And because you were wrong. The Senate is worse than you've been led to believe. The attack on Nominus Prime was orchestrated by a faction within the Senate. Not that I can prove it, yet. If that's true, why would they do that? So they'd have an excuse to move Nominus Prime into hiding. So they'd have unfettered access to the Matrix. So they could find out how it creates life. The Matrix can create life? The Knights of Cybertron called it the Creation Matrix. If certain members of the Senate can control the Matrix, they can control anything. There's a war coming, Orion. A war that will split this world in two. Battle lines are being drawn. Sides are being taken. It's just a matter of time. And what's my role in all of this? What do I do? You're a cop. Go back to work. Don't worry. I'll be in touch. Wait. Before you go, I feel different. Physically. You did more than just prepare me, didn't you? While you were offline, I gave orders for you to be modified. Nothing to worry about. We merely created some extra space. You're a deep thinker, Orion. Next time you're alone, I suggest you reflect on what's happened these last few days. You ask what your role is in all of this. Look inside yourself, and you might find the answer. <laughs>